Hello and good morning. Today our PBS News is looking into an article put out by Robert Gonzalez called The Left Brain is Rational and Other Lies You've Been Told About Neuroscience. We have neuroscience specialist Dr. Cook here today to explain just what neuroscience is and sort out facts and fiction about our brains. Today's focus is on the difference between our left and right brains. Dr. Cook, could you start by telling us what neuroscience is? I would love to. The first one is AC. AC is one of the office members having me here and to be able to talk to you guys about the study I love the most. But quite simply, that study, neuroscience, is the study of the brain and the nervous system. That makes sense. Can you tell us more about the brain and the difference between the left and right sides? Is the left brain really not the rational side as we had always thought? Well, certainly. You see, our left and our right brains are considered separate for very specific reasons because they both do separate things. I just want to be clear that when we are talking about the left and right sides of the brain, it is a one brain, not two. However, the cerebral hemispheres are divided right down the middle into left and right hemispheres. The right side of the brain controls muscles on the left side of the body, and the left side controls muscles on the right. However, information can cross between the two sides. As for the left brain is rational lie that Gonzalez points out, the left side might not be considered the rational side. But it has been shown to be the dominant part of the brain that we use for language. The right side appears to be dominant for other behaviors, such as facial recognition and visual imagery. However, this is not always the case and different brains are different. So, as we have seen, the left and the right sides of the brains are different. Although the left side of the brain not be, may not be the rational side of the brain as we previously thought, the left side of the brain is very important for math and for logic and for understanding languages, whereas the right side of the brain is important for visual imagery, for recognizing faces, so they both have their own parts and their own tasks, and although Gonzalez thinks that the left isn't rational and that there's a bunch of lies, there's definitely a difference as neuroscience has shown us that the left and right sides of the brain are in fact somewhat separate, although they can communicate in between themselves as far as completely different. Well, this definitely clears up a lot. I want to thank Dr. Cook for coming and spending their time here to show us the difference between the left and right side of the brain. And I hope that you join us again tomorrow for more PBS News.